Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. As we continue to round down our Algebra 1 work, we're in our goal 6, family 3. Only one more goal left, after, one more section left after this. This one is one of the fun ones. This is a no holds barred Ms. Dubois favorite. I love box and whiskers, they're very fun. But first, we've got to get used to what box and whiskers are. So, we're going to first introduce you to five number summary. Then we'll get you used to how to make them, and then we'll get used to how to read them. So before we go any further, box and whiskers part, plot, if you've ever seen them, they tend to look like this, and they'll have some kind of line in the middle, and they'll have some kind of bar, and it will be over a number line. What you're doing is you're having different pieces of your five number summary in order to get this box and whiskers. So you're going to have a minimum value, you're going to have a maximum value, you're going to have your median. Those are all words that you know. The thing that is going to be new for you is something called the lower quartile and the upper quartile. So let's explain what that is first. So we're going to scroll down and then we're going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so when we are looking at this, I really want to make sure we can only look at one problem at a time. So. Easy things first. Minimum is easy to do because you'll notice that the scores are already in order. That is a favor the software will do for us. So our smallest number is 57. And our biggest number, oops, our biggest number is 93. So far so good. Our median, let's go through the effort of that. We have 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, Two, one, two. There's our median. Our median is going to be 80. Next up, what a quartile is, if you think about it, quarter is half of a half, right? Half of a half. That's what a quarter is because two quarters is half a dollar. So what that means then is we're actually now taking a second median. It is the median, median of half the list. That's what a quartile means. So now instead of looking at the entire list, I'm only looking at this half of the list and I'm doing my median. And this is where the crosshatch comes into play. One, two, one, two, and then we split. So our first quartile is going to be 61. One, two, one, two, split. So this one will be 85.5. So keep in mind that you never use your median when you're finding your quartiles, okay? I very deliberately never use the 80. So interquartile range, range we know from earlier topic, we know our biggest minus our smallest. So what's 85.85.5 minus 61? 24.5. Okay, one more example to make sure you're comfortable with it. If I did it right, I don't know if I did, I was in a rush, I should be able to have a different kind of median here, we'll see. So minimum, easy, 48, because that's our smallest number, biggest number is going to be 80. Now we find the median, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. nope, it's the same type, oh well. Sometimes when you get a median, you know how you split the number sometimes. Keep that in mind, um, what that means. Keep in mind what that means. I'll just leave it at that. So our median is going to be 64. I'll give you an example in a second. Uh, now we want the quartile. So that's the median of this list. So 1, 2, 1, 2, split, and it's going to be 58. 1, 2, 1, 2, split. And it will be 76.5, 76.5. Now we're going to do the range, which is quartile. So 76.5 minus 58 is going to be 14.5. What I was talking about before, let's assume we're going to give myself a very small list just to make it visually easier. Let's do um, 16, 20, 22, and then, I don't know, 40. If I take my median number, 1, 2, split, 
our median number is going to be 21. Now, that's my median. Now, what's my quartile? I'm going to take the list of this list. That's what I was trying to point out. So it would be split down here, and then the court, lower quartile would be 18, and then the upper quartile would be whatever that is. Um, 31. That's what you want to keep in mind. So I got lucky this in this unlucky, I should say, in the sense that each time they gave us an actual number for a median, when you split the median, again, the median you're not using, so the 21 you're ignoring, which means you're using the rest of the list. That's what I was trying to point out to you. Sorry about that. So now that we're comfortable with a five number summary, let's look over here and now we're here we're actually going to be using our five number summary to make a box and whiskers plot so we're going to need a number line but first we need the five number summary so there's our min there's our max so we're going to have a 55 and a 93 so the middle of that is going to be about 76 um, and we can take some guesses from there. All right, kerfuffle, technical glitch. Where was I? We have our min, we have our max, now we're looking for our median. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Is this so tedious? One, two. All right, our median is going to be... 78.5, so about here, 78.5, and then, this is what I was talking about before, now we need our quartiles, so now we're looking at this list, so 1, 2, see, 1, 2, 1, 2, and then we split, so 70.5, that will be about here, 70.5, in the software they actually give you the numbers, um, but whenever I did the screen grab, it wouldn't actually paste for me, so to be determined. Then what's our upper quartile? One, two, one, two, one, two, split, and it's going to be at 83. So if that's 80, 83 is going to be about here. So now we have all of our numbers set up, and now we can actually make our box. And then, then I just watch this to block fail epically. And then what's our median right there? And we can tell a lot when we're actually looking at this. You can kind of see, because here, visually, this right here is 25% of the data. This right here is 25% of the data. This right here is 25% of the data. 25% of the data. But these are not all spread out evenly. You'll notice this box here, even though it's 25%, it's way smaller than this box here, which is also a quarter of the data. That's what makes box and whiskers kind of cool and elegant, because you can see where your most densely populated data exists, and that's what's really cool. Let's do one more example, one without his Dubois flailing quite so much. Come on. All right, we need a number line. So first things first, we're going to have a 10, and we're going to have a 40 because that's our min and that's our max, okay? And now to find our median. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, split, 24. All right, so 24, I can already tell, let's see here, it's going to be about here, 20. And you can already kind of see there's going to be a cool spread here. Next up, so that was our median. Now we've got to find the lower quartile. One, two, one, two, one, two. Split, it's going to be at 18, which is about here for 18. And then one, two, one, two, one, two. Split, and it will be 32. 32 is pretty equidistant. It's about here. 32. And now we have our box and whiskers. So up, 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 and then across. And there is our box and whisker plot. And it looks so pretty and so proud of it. And now you can see, again, 25% of the data, but way different from this 25% of the data. It's so cool. It's so cool. 
All right, so now that we know what a box and whiskers has, what these numbers and lines all represent, now we know how to make it, let's actually interpret some data. So I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit because this is a little bit hard to screen grab because there's so much there. So which city had the highest noon temperature? That is a fancy way to ask for a maximum. Well, we know from up above what's our maximum. It's this number and this number. Which one is higher? City A. Which city has the larger interquartile range? Interquartile range is the box of your box and whiskers. So if I'm looking at my box here and then my box here, which one is bigger? Mm, they're about the same. And that is one of the options in your drop down. Which city had more noon temperatures above 78? Okay, so where is 78? 78 is about there. When we're looking, remember, this is only 25% of the data. Meanwhile, 25, 25, and then a bunch of the other 25. So this is more densely packed. Since this is more densely packed, it's going to be city B. Which city has the higher median, median, and median? Which one is higher? City B. So that's the part that you're, this one in particular is the part that's going to be new for you guys. Next up, new one. What do we have? Smaller range. So that's talking about the entirety of the box. Which box is smaller? Meaning which one is narrower? It's going to be box B. All right. Next up, what do we have after that? It's asking what test scores have a larger interquartile range. There's one very obviously bigger box in this box and whiskers. And then highest test score is again, it's asking for our maximum. Which maximum is higher? That of class A. What has a higher median? Higher median. There's our median. There's our median. Our higher one is class A. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is everything to do with box and whisker plots. That is three out of four families for Algebra 1 Goal 6. We're almost done. Only one more video left. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. See you in the next one.